Uh, from our Facebook page, uh, Charla Lambos Savas. Again, I really apologize when I butcher your guys' names. Um, I am as American as it comes pronouncing things. I'm probably the worst. <laughs> um, so uh, they asked, do you believe that Nintendo might reconsider to use, uh, I'm, I'm guessing they meant to say, the use of a traditional gamepad controls for future Zelda games instead of motion controls, such as Twilight Princess on Wii. Hmm. Well, uh, Darren, I'll let you start with this one. Alright. Um, I don't really understand what he means. Does he mean that they... I, I, I think I think he's... Because um, you got to remember, the last console Zelda we got um, was Skyward Sword that used motion controls. Um, and the one before that, if he played it on Wii instead of GameCube... Also used like waggle and stuff, so basically, you know, a form of motion control. So I think he's kind of asking if Nintendo is going to reconsider use the use of like using traditional controls for future Zelda games. I think that's what he's asking, since we've had two console games in a row that didn't. So, like, um, will Zelda U have full-on motion controls? Well, I think a bit. I'm just looking at it now. Um, it says, "Do you believe that Nintendo might reconsider?" Uh, uh, the use of traditional pad controls for future Zelda games instead of motion. So I'm thinking he's asking if we think uh, Nintendo's going to use traditional controls over motion controls in future games. I would hope so, because I am not a fan of motion that, controls. That's what I get out of it anyways. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. even using um, gyro aiming with the gamepad, I've never been a fan of motion controls, just because I like how precise um, you can get it to use with traditional controls. I feel like motion controls don't work as well, especially on Skyward Sword. I hated them on Skyward Sword. Um, and really, I, I don't think there will be motion control support for Zelda Wii U because Nintendo really wants to show support for uh, the Wii U and its special controller. Uh, so that, that's my take on that. Yeah, I think if if we're going to see motion controls... Um, no, I obviously think gyro aiming is kind of a given, especially for Zelda U, because uh, it still uses the gamepad, and the gamepad has gyro sensors, so um, they, they kind of did that with the Wind Waker HD, so I would expect that to come back. Otherwise, I feel like it's going to be mostly traditional controls with a few things on the touchscreen, you know, like your inventory. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think if there's a chance for, like, Wii controls to come back, it would mostly just be Twilight Princess HD, because... Um, they have already have a version of that game that had the Wii controls, so in theory they could have that as a control option for the game. Um, I feel like they're not going to do that, and if they do, they're not going to advertise it because um, if you're getting Twilight Princess HD, it means you own a Wii U, and um, all Wii U owners are only guaranteed to have one certain type of controller, um, and that's going to be the controllers are going to advertise, and that's obviously their their touchscreen, what they call the gamepad. Um, which is really weird they call it a gamepad since gamepads have, have j- is just a general term for controllers anyways. Um, but that, that that's just me having issues with Nintendo's naming conventions. <laughs> <laughs> New um, Nintendo 3DS. They, oh, man. <laughs> it's not a Wii. It's a Wii U. Um, <laughs> but uh, set, setting aside uh, that, that kind of stuff, I, I feel like... Uh, for those people who really love motion controls, like I really loved the motion controls in Skyward Sword. If it was up to me and it was just about pleasing me, that would be our control scheme for the end of time. Um, and oh, I'm Nate, sure don't I can say already that. feel the hate. I could feel the hate already coming. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. E- even that Defend It series, when they defended Skyward Sword, this, even the guy defending it said the controls suck, and I just wanted to I wanted to throw my monitor out the window when I was watching it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because I'm like, how can you defend Skyward Sword, but then, like, the biggest part of the game, what it's entirely built around, you still hate. Like, then you're not really defending it. That just shows how sucky the motion controls are. No, they are not that bad. I, like, people used to complain, you know, oh, you always got to recalibrate and all stuff. Like, I didn't have to do any of that. Like, if you'd paid attention to all the tutorials, which there were a lot of tutorials, um, but apparently there's good reason there's a lot of them, because if you don't pay attention to them, the controls are probably going to suck. Um... Because everything was fully explained, like how everything worked. Like when you pull out an item, like, oh, I'm not centered on the screen. I'm like, did you read what how that item works? Like you're not centered on the screen because you were pointing the controller in a wacky position when you took the item out. 
Um, but like people didn't really pay attention to that stuff and they got all frustrated. Um, you know, they would like flail their arms like really, really quickly to do sword strikes when the tutorial specifically says to do slow motions. Um, so like, <laughs> it seemed more like people were complaining because the controls didn't work the way they wanted them to work. Uh, but that's my opinion. Obviously there is like such things as like interference and stuff. Um, obviously Nintendo, when they first showed off the game on the show floor, they had interference. Um, so that's obviously a real issue and a real complaint. Um, and that's just even more prevalent with motion controls. Um, you know, you'll still see it with some wireless controllers, but motion controls are going to be the most affected. Um, but yeah, you know, so if I had it my way that they would all be motion control, um, outside of handheld, cause I don't really feel motion controls work on such a tiny screen, but, um, I guarantee you Nintendo does not agree with me at all. Um, Skyward Sword, according to them, was a failure in terms of sales. Uh, it was not, you know, they it sounded like they expected to sell 10 million units, and they barely broke 3 million, so they were not um, pleased with that. So if I had to guess, they are going to cater to the people that really, really, really like um, standard controls. Yes. Uh, and that, that that's, yeah. I mean, everything we've seen, you know, we've only actually seen Zelda U controlled one time, um, that was over a year ago and a lot of things can change, but it was all with the gamepad. So anything the gamepad can do will be put into it, but you know, the gamepad has all the buttons and the twin sticks. And there was and gyro aiming in that video. There, 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 there was gyro aiming, that. but the, like I said, that, that was also in the Wind Waker HD. So like, if, if that's the kind of motion controls you're worried about being in the game, like that's going to be in the game. Um, I also guarantee they're probably going to be optional. Uh, well, you know, maybe not. Maybe it won't be optional. Maybe I mean, if you're really worried about gyro aiming, um, or like if you have to hold the gamepad up, to like like looking through it like a lens of truth kind of thing, um, like as cool of an idea as I think that is, if you absolutely hate that kind of thing, I mean, that actually might be in the game, um, and there might not be any other way to do it. So I, I have no idea. Um, but I, you know, you specifically mentioned, you know, like like Wii style controls. I think we're done with that. I think. Especially uh, with NX on the horizon, I'm pretty sure anything associated with Wii, they're just going to throw out the window. Um, they're going to try to disassociate from that brand, and that includes the Wii modes. So, yeah, uh, that that's I, I kind of agree with Darren in the sense that they're I mean they're going gamepad and pro controller and whatever the NX is from here on out. Yeah, I definitely agree, and it. Uh, personally, I think it's a good idea to just get rid of the uh, Wii motes <laughs> altogether. <laughs> to be honest, um, well, and there like were some aspects that too. were fun. Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, there were some aspects of Skyward Sword that were fun. Like I enjoyed flying the loft wing and stuff like that. But when See, it came that, to the that was sword, like the one, that was the one control I didn't, I didn't enjoy. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's uh, okay though. See, start contrast. Yeah, but as for like the sword, I wish they would have just locked that to the to the A button or whatever, um, or B button or whatever, yeah, um, whatever, rather than putting it on the motion control. And I mean, Link just looked funny running around with the sword <laughs> out out to the side and everything. So it just made the game at playing as Link, looking at him, he looked unnatural. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, compared to prior games where he holds a sword naturally or, you know, uh, things like that. I, I don't know. I think they need to move away from that. The gyro uh, feature is actually pretty cool, but I think that's as far as it should go. Yeah, so um, to kind of summarize, uh, Char, Lambo, Savas, um, basically uh, we all pretty much feel they're going to be using more traditional controls from here on out because that's just what the Wii U has. That's, uh, you know, we have no idea what the NX is going to have, but it's probably not going to be another Wiimote. Um, and, uh, you know, gyro controls are, very re are, are a real thing that will probably exist. We've already seen footage of Zelda U at least using some gyro controls. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's kind of where it stands. The, the Wii remote itself and all those controls are probably, outside of gyro stuff, are out the door. Um, so, yeah, th thanks for your question.